Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to do a quick review of the I-35 RV Park, which is in a suburb of Waco, Texas. If you're visiting Magnolia here, which a lot of people do, this is a great place to stay. everyone, I'm Jim. Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I'm going to do a quick review with the I-35 RV Park here in Elmont, Texas. We're just off of the I-35 freeway here and it's about 10 or 11 miles into town. It's a great location if you're staying or coming to El Waco, Texas. Now the first thing you'll notice when you drive in is probably one of the most amazing dog parks that I've seen in an RV campground anywhere. And this one has a full-blown agility course here. There's plenty of grass area to walk your dogs. This is one of two dog parks that they have. The other one's more for taking potty breaks. As you drive in, if you need a refill on propane, they have propane right here. And you can fill up on either side. you to be in the right lane as you pull in and you stop over here and check in at the office. They did have uh, some signs for late check-in if you need to do that. I believe the owners live right over here in this residence next door. Yeah, and right here you can see that there's late check-in info. They do have a fitness room here, a pool. But probably one of the greatest features that we've enjoyed is that every morning there's this little cafe over here called uh, Bubba's. And they open up in at 7 a.m. and they go to 9 a.m. and it's free breakfast. It's uh, a really good made to order, fresh ingredients, breakfast, coffee, juice, uh, whatever you want. To give you an idea, we went to Magnolia Table one day and it cost my wife and I $35 for an oatmeal and uh, biscuits and gravy and coffee. Compare that to the free breakfast here. It's a, it's a real bargain. They do have a laundry room over here. I believe there's two in the campground. It's $1.25 for a wash, $1.25 for a dry, if you need to do that. The way the sites are broken down there, there seems to be a lot of full-timers here. Understandably, it's only uh, $365, I think, for a monthly rate. And we're paying $44. We have a 42 foot class A on 50 amp. And the sites are comprised of mostly gravel. And then there's a couple of sites that we got on and ours has a, a cement pad. The roads are wide. It is big rig friendly. It's not a high end resort, but it's certainly comfortable, convenient, reasonably priced. And uh, probably the only negative is the freeway being so close. If you don't like freeway noise, well then this might not be the place for you, but I think I mentioned in another video, my wife sleeps with a 
white noise machine. So this is uh, basically the equivalent. All in all, I'd rate it probably a six or seven out of 10. And uh, our dogs love it because we can step right out of the coach and there's grass there and uh, just really beautiful grounds. It's kind of crazy. They have, uh, now I'm thinking about it, they have a petting zoo in the back. They have a, a golf driving range uh, in the back also. And it, it, it's just a, a big, it's fairly big resort for the money. Highly recommend it if you're passing through. This area over here is the second dog park. And this one's primarily just to bring your dog to go potty. They do have bags and a garbage can right up front. And uh, the thing I found with this is that the pet owners let their dogs do their business in here, but they don't bother to pick up after them. So uh, it's full of landmines. I wouldn't, wouldn't bring our dogs in here. It's unfortunate. The other dog park is more for agility, but there's plenty of area here to walk your dogs. This field over here is what they have on their map and they called it the uh, golf range. And there's a little trellis over here where I believe you would hit the balls from. And I don't see any means of recovering them other than walking out there and, and finding your balls. And then scattered around the area over here, they have exercise equipment. And I could see several different stations. Obviously this one right here is pretty close up and then down this way, they have a, uh, a pet wash, a couple of more fitness stations. And there's more fitness stations and uh, sitting benches as you go out that way. Actually a pretty nice green area for a reasonably priced park. And as I said before, the breakfast is, is great. Uh, thanks to the ladies who do that. They're volunteers who uh, cook made-to-order breakfast every day. No complaints. Highly recommend I-35 RV Park if you're going to be in the Waco area. Again, it's about 10-15 minutes down to Magnolia. We drove down there this morning for coffee. And uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a moment to like and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified when we do more videos. Every Tuesday, we have a two minute video that'll have a Tuesday tip of the week. Short little video that will save you some time. Until then, we'll see you on the road. Bye.